Hello and welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis with episode 5 of Mastermind. I am just uh, shoving some grilled meat down my throat because, or sorry, grilled meat. I wish it was grilled. It's charred meat. It's not doing a lot for me, but it's doing something. At least I'm, at least I'm alive. All right, I spent the night kind of, well, getting home, first of all, and then kind of going around the neighborhood and, uh, you know, scooping up anything worthwhile. I stripped that place down pretty good, started uh, shoveling up some resources over there, because we're going to start doing a base really soon, and I needed some cobblestone, and I'm not great at shoveling <laughs> and picking, but, you know, we'll, we might have to get some more. So we're going to have to think of some sort of a, a design uh, somewhere to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to maybe design it off of the place I'm at. I, I just don't know. But we're going to have to look around. We're going to have to figure that out. But we do have tier two quests to look forward to. So I'm going to maybe pick a spot. Actually, no, that looks like a great spot for Horde base, to be honest. It's like a big old concrete lot or asphalt lot. So let's maybe um, spitball some ideas and uh, see if we can come up with something. But I may have to clear this stuff out first because uh, that's going to get in the way. That's just going to fall and it's going to annoy me. All right, there we go. Oh, guess I'm making shit kind of noise. Excuse me. Didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, we get some iron to pick up, at least. All right, so yeah, we'll get this cleared out. And yeah, what kind of design? Now, it's, this is difficult because I don't know if I'm going to have traps. But we're going to do our best to do that. Now, uh, last night, I got another level. Let's take a look at our points, actually. Uh, intellect, here we go. So, advanced engineering. If I was to get engineering level, or intellect level 6, I can get this. I know how to craft a generator, but this will teach me to do electric fences and blade traps. So that is my goal. Intellect 6. Alright, so I got intellect 5, so we would need th two points. Yeah, two points. Just two points to get this. So I think we can do that. Now, man, I don't even know if I should start designing a base now. Because uh, I don't know if I'm going to have blade traps. I, maybe I should expect that I will and start something right now. Okay, so let's, okay, let's say if I have blade traps. What am I going to have? How is this going to work? Hmm. Yeah, let me start put, slapping the frames down and uh, see what sticks. Okay, I'm starting to uh, frame something out here. And are these lines something you can break apart? Interesting. <laughs> I don't I guess that's necessary unless you have the, the asphalt blocks the terrain blocks that has that coloring I don't think you'd be able to so I guess you can break apart the painted lines I mean the technological limitations of this game I understand still a little weird all right moving on okay so this is kind of what I'm playing with it's kind of like a maze concept I have some uh, blade uh, blade traps right here uh, maybe I'll have some dart traps here in this hallway um, and, they, and they'll have maybe some electrical wiring all along. And I'll be up here with a gun of some kind, shooting down on them. And then uh, I should probably incorporate pounding here somewhere. So it's kind of like a last resort. Um, hmm. Maybe I should not use stairs to do something else. Hmm. Okay, let me think, rethink this part right here. I think this is the last part I'm kind of bugged with. Okay, this is highly experimental. I just, I'm just kind of dicking around at this point. Okay, so if we can come through the blade traps, if I can get dart traps, I can maybe load them into the wall right here and shoot up this way. And then um, I think at this point, I could run with electrical wiring and kind of shock them down. And if they get to this point, I'll be on the other end of this hatch, and they're going to... Oh, actually, I'll have to do a, do a door thingy here, kind of like that. All right, and then all these swinging at them, and Pound is going to pound them back into the maze, into the dark traps, or wherever else, kind of start them all over. So, I mean, this might make a little massaging. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I was going to go over more of it this way, but those, uh, um, kind of those parts of the, uh, whatever, I don't know what those are called. The stop cars maybe run over them. Anyways, those are like 2,500 damage each. I'm not moving those. So this is kind of squishing my base a little bit. So, again, this is kind of what I'm working with. It's not perfect, but... Maybe it'll do for today. Maybe, or not today, but the Horde Night. Again, it's not going to be like my forever base. I'm actually thinking about moving um, after the Horde Night down south. Because there's a, there seems to be a larger city down here. And this place seems to be very limited. Like, look how tiny this place is. Anyways, uh, that's what I'm thinking. We'll uh, we'll come back and play with this a bit more. We need some levels. We need to get some, uh, you, know, you know, stuff and things, I guess. But let's head to the trader. Let's go get a tier two quest and uh, see what wonders await us. 
All right, arriving at Rex. Let's see what uh, quests you have today. Something better. Do you have any gerbs? Uh, ooh, knight only restore power quest. Mmm, I want to do that. We'll do it later. So, what's this? House Bungalow 04. I want to take a look at all the other ones. Uh, they're all pretty close. House Gambrel 01. Listen up, Jack. Victorian 12. That sounds new. Show some respect. Yeah, that sounds new. Let's take that one. Cool. Next time. All right, we're gonna have Poundy with us, so things are a little bit better. All right. Well, let's get out there. All right. Here is our quest. Okay. Have we done this before? Twelve. I don't remember the numbers being that high. I mean, okay. All right. We're just gonna reset it. We're not gonna do the double dip anything. You know, uh, it's. If it's readily, it's if it's like a really easy to see and grab loot, I don't mind. But if I have to start busting things open, am I gonna fall for that? Should I just go down there? Yeah, okay. They expect me to fall fall for the trap. It's kind of expected. But hey, you know, extra cobblestone. We need that stuff. So I'm gonna shovel this and then uh, continue on. Oh yeah, this place looks really familiar. I th Pretty sure I've done this before. I mean, yeah, it looks really familiar. I'm not sure if they changed the numbering. Look, it's a schematic and cell. Neat. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I've done this before. Looks familiar. So it's not new, but what the hell? They can't all be new. Oh, Savage Country box up here. I hope these are better. In Alpha 19, these boxes were just garbage. Uh, I mean, that's not massively better, but there's a, there's a few of them here. Construction site box, get some nails, uh, another one, some more cube frames. That's the ones I have, yes, okay. And uh, what's in here? Preferably something decent, okay? So, oh, yes, that. Uh, that would have been nice yesterday. That had to heal naturally. I played for like two hours having that, um, not abrasion, but uh, that... Um, uh, open wound for two hours. It had to heal naturally, which was not ideal. But hey, now we have two for whenever it happens again. Oh, huh. it's funny. I think it's funny when they, uh, they're they on the other side of those uh, breakaway things and you end up smacking them instead. I enjoy that. I, I enjoy that a lot. Ooh, honey. That could come in handy. Okay, I see some banging outside, but that's probably none of our business. Okay, this is a... There's probably not much more to this place, but it is tier two, so maybe we'll have some decent stuff in here. I'll get upgrade out of my shorts. Well, if you can call it upgrade, uh, yeah, it's better. It's got a it's got a metal looking belt. That's fine. All right, so see, yeah, this POI hasn't been too bad. You know, the uh, zombies have been pretty merciful. Hello, fella. But yeah, I really like the feel of the baton more than I thought I would, and the primitive one almost kind of feels feels better than the. Uh, the other baton. I was talking about that yesterday. But still, I really... Ooh, letter, letter jacket. Okay, this gives us run speed, but we're losing heat resist. We'll keep that on hand for whenever we traverse through the desert. But in the meantime, we get some extra run speed, and can't say no to that. Oh. You know that trash loot seems actually kind of better lately? Ooh. Oh! I was going to say, hey, there's the new party girl. Well, old party girl. Well, old stripper, new party girl, whatever you mean. But, uh... Blew her head clean off, so couldn't really get a look at her. Uh, I'm not gonna grab the pink dye. I don't, don't really have any use for that. Now, ooh, I'm in, I'm full. So I got some stuff to scrap. And we have a safe to open up. I have one lock pick and a possibly broken hatchet here, so... Um, would I get lucky? I don't know. We'll loot through. If we get another... Um, I'm probably gonna forget it just because I'm walking away from it. But I have no other way to open it up. But hey, if I get some lock picks, I'll, I'll be sure to stop by. Oh, near the end here. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. So it's a leather or leather trunk. So the the loot is better here. Working stiff tools, a workbench. Uh, yeah, I'm bound to find something good here. All right, all the stuff's cracked open. Let's take a look at this working stiff tools first. Steel tool parts. A weapons bag with ooh burning shaft. Well, does that? Oh, that's got to go in the baton. Okay, so we'll scrap that. Iron arrowheads. We can we can. Uh, do on our own. I'll scrap that fire axe because I have another one. Okay, modify. Oh, that's a damned shame. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Okay, Poundy has the flames. You know, that's, you know, that actually might end up being better. 
Uh, that might be okay. All right, leather trunk. This should be the better of the loot. Ugh, knuckle wraps. All right, uh, I can dig up clay easy. Shotgun shells are better. And uh, do we roll the dice? Yes, and did we win? Yes, we did. Awesome. <laughs> All right, some more bullets. And ooh, some half-looted food. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. All right, let's double back out of here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be trying to bust open that uh, that safe. It's, uh, I don't have any means of doing so. I feel bad for leaving it here, but what can you do? Yeah, I broke the lockpick anyways. Oh, I, had to, I had to try, right? Oh, well. Okay, there's some buckshot. People have been asking the questions about this. Hey, what do you do with buckshot? Well, you make robotic turret shells. You make shotgun shells. Uh, rockets. All that kind of stuff. So, the... Um, Blunderbust ammo, which I think some people are confusing that for, is indeed gone. Ooh, aloe vera seed. Yeah, I'll scrap that one nail for that. Easy as pie. All right, let's get the hell out of here, turn that quest in, and uh, yeah, I'll maybe do another one. Oh, do we have a horde here? Well, that's perfect, because I need experience. Uh, come on, fellas. Let's rock. Right, that wasn't too bad. Good chunk of experience, 1500, and we're due for a level pretty soon. So let's turn the quest in, and uh, maybe what I should do, and this might be more interesting, I'm gonna accept the restore power quest, and I'm just gonna look through the town and just find a, as big of a POI as I can find, and do some murdering. I think that might be the one of the most fun, two props well, the most rewarding, good, and uh, ooh, I missed one of these. Of yeah, yeah, threatening to shoot me, I get it. Uh, iron crossbow. Spend it all in one mm, place. I'm gonna have to switch, aren't I? Four vitamins is tempting, but this is a whole heck of a lot better. Oh uh, yeah, it's like 50% better. I'm gonna take the crossbow. All right, restore power quest, I'll take it. Important. Country town business at night. Clear any zombies inside. Need to do this job at night to avoid enemy detection. Bring a torch. Neat. All right, so we have that quest. We can't do it right now. So this episode might be maybe a little bit longer. Oh, there's our level. We have two points to spend. Did I? Okay, hold on. Yes, I need to put our intellect point in. There we go. So now I have one more point to get, and we can do electric traps. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's head on over to... Uh, not the restore power quest, but maybe just in the area. This town is not big. This is tragically not big. <laughs> but let's uh, let's do a cruise around and pick out something fun. Okay, this looks interesting. Um, not sure what to make of this building. Oh, where am I? What to make of this building? It's kind of nondescript warehouse kind of thing. Definitely new. Hey, fella. Tom Cleric. Oh, bash his brains in. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely new. Look at this. I just, just definitely has the right feel. I love these uh, kind of wooden pallets. I think you can chop this down for wood. Yes, you can. Nice uh, cement mixer, which could have the schematic, but it did not. Neat. Okay, so far I'm liking the look of this place. I'm getting really good frames in here. I'm getting almost like 80, 90 frames. Oh, hey. You, you stay down there, fella. Neat. Drop loot with uh, shotgun shells, vitamins, and... Um, some uh, golden rod tea. All right, so this looks like the kind of place you'd find a lot of tools, and I am okay with that. Uh, and a new axe, one or two parts. All right, let's uh, crack some boxes open, take a look around, um, and mash this woman's face in. That's a decent amount of cash, look at that. Uh, and a beef ration, so food and drinks and cash. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty considerate. Construction box with some more frames. All right, let's keep busting things open. Well, it's handy. Just got looted a wire tool. Now that's gonna help us do some electronics. Uh, we would not have been able to get very far without that. So, kind of happy we uh, we found one. Cause yeah, we have the, we can craft the generator. Whoop de doo. But you're not wiring anything without that damn tool. All right, of course I'm already encumbered, and I'm just, I just only entered, first entered the place. Uh, fortifying grip schematic, not bad. Uh, bike is just over... 
Oh, over here. Okay. Now someone asked the question, can you wrench... Oh, let me put a wrench out here. Can you wrench the fire hydrant? Good question. Let's find out. Yes. Okay, I'm getting iron. Um, mechanical parts. Okay. And that's it. Is uh, anyone disappointed we didn't get any water somehow? Like, or spraying? Psh, you know? <laughs> I know there's limitations within the game, but that still would have been cool if you could pull it off somehow. All right, heading back in and heading upstairs. Is that more wood? Oh, that's, uh, what is that? A paper and, oh, it's like um, fiberglass, maybe? Sand and, and paper? It's just a guess. I mean, I'm not very, uh, <laughs> not very mechanically oriented, so that's just my guess. That was the impression I got from him anyways. All right, another crate. It looks like we're heading outside, maybe? Ooh, duct tape and some, uh, uh, what do you call them? Um, relays which is awesome because that can help wire our base and we're getting water in these barrels they're not gas anymore it's a little bit of a hop oh is this uh does this continue on to the next area or does this go up or both doesn't see anything up here um i guess we could loot that some cat food so does it do i have to jump over oh whoa hello Okay, we have a couple of arrows left to see if we can make use of those. All right, no wasted arrows, not bad. All right, so is that what we do from here on out? Oh, wait, hold on. We go down here? There's a ladder. Unlock door. Oh, that was just leading over here. And this leads up. Is that part of this yard? Yeah, the new POI structures are kind of confusing me a little bit. Sometimes you don't know where the POIs end. No, that's definitely where I need to go. Look at that light. Haha, uh -huh. and down in here. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm noticing a trend with these uh, these new POIs that some of them are two. Uh, there's two POIs in one. They expect you to traverse from one to the other. So I don't know. I'm kind of cool with it. Uh, where else is in here? Oh, hey, fella. <laughs> Spanker bet. Oh, that's just. Awkward. All right, yeah, so uh, still more more warehouse. I'll have to shovel that later. I'll shovel it after we're done. Um, let's see here. Medical stuff. Oh, dude. Oh, wow, there's a few of you. Hold on, let's uh, bring up Poundy. We haven't... Uh, whoa, where am I? I haven't brought you out to play yet. Come get some. Come. Are you coming? Yeah, okay, there we go. Poundy, go get him. Yeah, we don't have any points of robotics, but... Oh, you can definitely tell... The, uh, the firing time was not great. So definitely need to put some points before Poundy is going to be very, you know, useful. Okay, moving on to an office section. And I see a tubby fella back there. Let's put Poundy right there. Go start working on him, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, did Poundy destroy that? Okay, hold on. This is kind of a bad spot for it. Hold on. Okay, let me, let me just do this. Okay, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, there, go get him. Oh yeah, that's really slow firing speed. I still love you though. There we go. Okay, what do we have? Oh wow, wow! Look and look at all this stuff. Look at all that loot. This must be the end. Okay, a little camping, a uh, little camping. It was like a sports store. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, four zombies, baby. Oh, we can handle this. All right, not too bad. A little bit of help from Poundy. All right, cool. Or what do we get from here? Coffee. Don't mind if we do. Ooh, that's a metal box. Oh, that's a locked metal box. Son of a bitch. Okay, iron breaker. Okay, we'll get. We'll put that on our pickaxe uh, when we can get to repair it. All right. So, mm, mm, hopefully, there's some repair kits here uh, or some lock picks because uh, this is going to be a problem. All right, everything's cracked open. Here's a lab equipment box with some medical goods, which is not bad. Some salmon. Uh, and an ammo pile. We have some bullet and bullets and stuff. All right. So, <clears throat> that's it. All right, that's it. Crap. I need to get in there for this to be worth it. Don't have any lock picks. Um, I don't have any means. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can wrench. Well, I have duct tape. If I could wrench something that'll give me some forged iron, uh, maybe I can craft a repair kit. 
It was a gun rack with a bipod mod in it. Nice. Uh, still a lot of room, though. Scrap that. And... Uh, I don't know. What can I... Uh, sand. There we go. Perfect. Uh, bipod would possibly go on this. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I guess I missed these display cases. Ammo and uh, casings. All right, still on the hunt for something to wrench to give us forged iron. All right, busted my way out of here. I thought I saw, yeah, a couple things I could wrench out here. I'm gonna have to come back. So I'm gonna maybe empty some stuff from my bike to get some uh, use out of my legs here. And then down we go. All right, yes, yeah, so wrench some things in the area, try to get some iron, because I am damn determined to get what's inside that box. Got a little RV here. Oh, that's nasty looking. Whoa, Jesus. Ah, I got ladies of the night cornering me here. Uh, yeah, there was a uh, trailers out in the side here. Okay, I have stamina. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't careful with my stamina. And yeah, I don't see anything here that's gonna yield yield iron. So maybe SOL. I may have to go back and or maybe move a marker. Cause I it would suck to leave that kind of stuff back here. I'll double check, double check in this place. Maybe there was something else. Otherwise, I might just wander the town and look for something wrenchable. Oh, maybe that will give me iron. Hold on, hold on. Uh, here we go. This will give me iron, right? Um, forged iron. There we go. Repair kit. Perfect. All right. Maybe we'll wrench the rest of it. Then uh, double back, and I get that chest popped open. Well, this took an awful long time. Ugh. Almost broke my pickaxe a second time getting into it. All right, see what we win. A treasure map, okay, and some scrap leg armor. What are we wearing? Yeah, we're wearing that. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing for armor, but what the heck? We got tr we got um, uh, transportation, so let's let's we may as well weigh ourselves down just a tiny bit until we can get something better. All right, we're getting out of here, and we're going to go home, and we're going to start upgrading our base. I think the experience we're going to get from upgrading that will give us our last point, and then tomorrow we can start planning some traps, and that will uh, really lock the concept of the base in. All right, we're out of there. Ooh, where, where, where do we go? Where do we go? Okay, let's grab some of those frames back. All right, yes, heading home, finally. It's taken a bit, but uh, we got the place cleared. Just uh, took a little longer than I thought it was going to. Oh, yes, we also have a restore power quest. Right, I almost forgot about that. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and do unload, do some upgrading. Oh, is it here? Oh, okay, we're going to get some... Uh, what else, what's the word I'm looking for? Not restitution, but... Uh, uh, we're going to justify... Not justify, but figure things out from those two POIs, because there was a restore power quest there, and I wasn't sure what the deal was, so we're going to see it in person, so that's cool. All right, again, we're going to dump off, do a bit of upgrading, and then head on back there and do a quick little restore power quest. All right, everything's done sorting, and we uh, open up this treasure map, and mm, not that close, and it's probably in the wasteland, so that kind of sucks. All right, let's grab our hammer. Here we go, hammer, hammer, hammer. And as much cobblestone as we can carry, and uh, do a little bit of upgrading. It's almost nighttime, so uh, maybe we'll get that last level just from the upgrading alone. All right, it's nighttime, which means it's go time, and we're almost leveled up, so I'm kind of... Uh, it's, I guess that one last point's not going to help us when we get there. And we'll probably get it from killing whatever's inside. Okay, so also what, uh, something I mentioned else I did is I crafted some uh, bolts. I know I scrapped some earlier, so I feel bad about it now. But I didn't expect to get a crossbow um, instead of a primitive bow, because that's a hell of a lot better. So yeah, so we're switching to that, and we're going uh, to try to get some sneak shots, because it is nighttime. There we go. There's that point. We're going to put that immediately into engineering, so... Yes, uh, generators, advanced base defense systems, electrical tra fences, blade traps, uh, military fiber. Again, you get experience with trap kills. Uh, all forged recipes cost 10% less. Crafting steel and electrical devices cost less. So, love it. That is the uh, you know definitive point for me to learn in this playthrough. All right, let's head over to the Resort Power Quest and uh, try to be a little sneaky this time around. Whoa, that's a hole. Well, fuck. God damn it. Alright, so we can just pick up our mini bike. It's not a big deal. We're fine. Everything's can I just get around that body? If I don't if you don't mind, can I just get around? Oh, can we get up that? Okay, there we go. Oh damn it. Okay, we're over. Here. Body's out of the way. Let's put our uh, bike over here. And try to watch where the hell we're going. Alright. 
we're here. So we've got the uh, crossbow ready to go with some iron bolts. Now this place is... You hear that? I was Okay, that was just saying that the power had run out. Alright, so maybe I should go in, go in dark. Now I guess that's not really good for content, is it? It's good for sneaking, just not for content. Okay, so I see the generator on my map. I've not done this before. I believe it was... Uh, oh, there's someone outside. Uh, I assisted Daphne with one of these quests on our stream nights. Um, and she did it, but it was some sort of bug where the, uh, the party members couldn't do it. So it was kind of a pain. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I wonder if I can hit the... Get my bolt back. Can I sneak in a little bit more? Oh, that was one of the corpses. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Talking lower because obviously I'm sneaking. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> wow, I was uh, <laughs> sneaking in the corner. I was wondering, why can't I move? Okay, here we go. Actor, Press E to activate small quest generator. Okay, so I guess I can't move. It takes 10... Uh, do I have to... Oh, I might have to do it multiple times? There we go. One generator activated. So, there's a second generator I'm gonna have to find. Uh, yeah, it's probably in the next building. Oh. Yeah, it's in the next building. So I was with Daphne when she did that one. I'm just trying to remember it now. Okay, now to find our way to the... next POI somehow. Oh, hey, look at that. Beep! Nice. Alright, one building down, another one to go. I saw our bird's nest. I knew there was going to be a bird up here. Didn't get me, sir. Get my arrow back. All right, so I suspect we're supposed to go over here. And then down into that. Yeah, down into there. Okay. I understand. Let's get a bolt ready. I see. Uh, oh, I know there's a dog here. Actually, we did a short recently um, on this door. Dog ran up to me. Oh, was it here? I thought it was, oh, no, it's next door. Never mind. That was at the, the, the chicken house. That was funny. Still a dog, though. <laughs> Not too shabby. Okay, there's the other generator. Um, there's got to be someone in here. All right, do, do I activate the generator? Does that spawn zombies, maybe? I mean, it would make sense. Maybe that's why it takes 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, that did it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. You know what? We have a gun. Let's use it. I don't reload it. Let's reload it first. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I was a little worried at first. Oh, oh I'm actually getting a little vaguely worried still. Let's get Poundy down. Uh, we're not out of control yet. So maybe I'll use our baton a little bit. And a little bit of Poundy. Right. Oh, that's right. You had to do a clear anyway, so I guess that was that. Where'd that, where'd that one go? Alright. Let's try to start this generator again. And there we go. Quest completed. That was fun, right? <laughs> Alright, there's uh, some loot in here, probably. There we go. Mo power electronics. That's what I like to see. This is my favorite chest in this playthrough. What do we get? Okay, a book we already have, but we have a battery, so that's kind of cool. Ooh, books. You really know how to spoil me. All right, bookstore box with uh, Spear Hunter, whatever, and Goldenrod Recipe. Oh, I'll take it. Leather trunk uh, with a hood and some bandages. We have a little six hood, I think. Yeah, we do. All right. Neat. All right, I think that is about it. I'm just going to pick on through this POI through the night because why not? We're here. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, going to be it for us tonight. All right, thanks for watching. This has been... No, no sorry. <laughs> Try that again. This has been Genosis with episode 5 of Mastermind. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. If you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.